what's up, Scott Balkin here with Imagination Creation Films, and today, well, we're taking a quick look at the Vazen Anamorphic RF mount lenses on Komodo. Okay, so let's talk about the Vazen Anamorphic RF lenses. Now, I only got to play with them for a very, very short time, so you'll have to treat this as a mini review. And if you like me to do a full review, longer or better or deep dive or whatever, just let me know. I'll see what I can do about getting those lenses in my hand. Now these are adapted from Micro Four Thirds lenses and they're not quite 2X. They're not 1.33 either. These are an odd value of 1.8X. And I, I personally don't like the look of 1.33 much at all as it just doesn't seem to give you enough of that true anamorphic look. And I wasn't sure if the 1.8 was going to do it, but I was honestly surprised at how much closer they are to 2X. Well, I mean, math would tell you that, but I don't like math. So I go by look. Also, I do math, um, but I don't like it. So, yeah. Did you know that uh, you're probably not subscribed to this channel? Be a lot cooler if you did. Also, if you can give me a thumbs up, it really helps the algorithm quite a bit, and we all know how much we want to please the algorithm. So let's take a look at the footage, and the special thanks to my friend Tim Doust for letting me check them out while I was in town in Atlanta. The first thing I notice is pulling focus wide open is a real challenge, and I wish I had more time to have done a better job. <sighs> You should have seen the clips I cut. Now at T4, it becomes much easier to focus and the look is quite nice. At T4, they were much sharper than I was expecting after seeing them wide open. You can see the struggle is real and well, I may not have had my glasses on at the time. <laughs> So let's put it in the hands of Tim and see what I look like with flair and also someone who can pull focus. Uh, now this is the best footage to see the flaring and the shape of the bokeh on both these lenses. Now we tried to get a variety of shots, close focus, far focus, some pulls so you can see the character. Obviously these are very limited shots. Again. I had very little time, literally two hours total. Now they feel really well built and well, they operate smoothly. The 40 millimeter is a little heavy, but overall I like them more than I thought I would. I, I really dug that 40 millimeter. It just it just felt right, it looked right to me. The 28 millimeter wasn't bad at all. There's just some funny things the flaring does and it can get a little distracting at times, but if you're not trying to flare everything, I think they look rather controlled. You know, focus was, well, it was just a pain in the rear wide open, like I said before, but that's where you get most of the bokeh, obviously. Now, both of these sharpen right up at T4 and they cover Super 35, but just barely. They'll cover Komodo, but just barely. So, yeah. There you have it. The mini, maybe even a micro review of the Vazen 1.8X anamorphic RF mount lenses. And well, these really are a nice pairing for the Komodo. Well, since it's a native RF mount. What do you think of the Vazens? Do you think I should do a long-term full review? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you did or did not like about these. Well, in these short brief and also, Tell me how great of a focus puller I am. 
Yeah, just put that in the comment section down below. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comment section down below because, you know, I try to read and respond to each and every one, even if it's just to say thank you. Uh, you can support me with a multitude of ways. You could join our channel memberships. You can give me a tip down below. You can send me PayPal. You can use any of my affiliate links down below. All of those greatly help me, help you, help me, help you. Y you get it. Remember to subscribe, click the little alert bell, and also all alerts next to it. That way you'll be notified whenever a new video comes out or a live stream, because as soon as they fix my internet, hopefully this afternoon, we're gonna be live streaming a lot. Yeah. So yeah, as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions.